Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wardrip Science Channel. And on this episode, we get to the topic of algae. Once and for all, this will finally be done and out of all of our lives. This worry to get it done out of mine, finally getting to watch it for you guys. Um, first one, start off by saying that this video was actually... The idea was given to me by my girlfriend Stephanie Adams. Um, and I just want to say thanks for the idea because I honestly really love it. It, it was very fun to write the script for this one. And uh, now I'm going to jump into it. Algae. I need it. You need it. We all need it. But why do we need it? The answer is very simple compared to some of the other uh, processes I've explained in my videos, such as the Miller-Urey experiment, which I will be working on an updated version, one that is not of such low quality. But we need it because of oxygen. That's right, simplest answer I can give you is oxygen. Stuff fills your lungs all day, with few impurities here and there, uh, and keeps you from suffocating from a vacuum or from breathing in argon or other unnatural gases for our bodies. Now you may be thinking to yourself, but why is algae important if we have trees, grass, and plenty of other plants and life for air? Now I'll get to this question a little later on, you know, just pique your interest a little bit, um, but for now, let's start at the very beginning and explain what algae really is. Algae is a type of plant, however, it is a very primitive plant, and it actually goes through what is called the process or the alternation of generations, which is one of the most complex ideas in botany and it's actually for how complex it is, it's amazing because it is the oldest way of propagation in plants. And if I can sum this up quickly, it is a plant starting out as either a gametophyte or a sporophyte, very hard question to ask, which came first, the gametophyte or the sporophyte, but it will change, it won't change itself, but its offspring will have changed into either the gametophyte or the sporophyte, and whichever one corresponds to the other. Uh, so the sporophyte will uh, go through, obviously, spores, and, uh, and each plant that d did this, the, uh, or still does this, because it's seen in mosses and plenty of other plants as well, um, one of the other one of either the gametophyte or the sporophyte is prominent or in most cases independent. Um, very hard to understand for most people. It's not the best to start out with, so simply gametophyte to sporophyte, sporophyte to gametophyte. And this process continues on for all of the generations the plant will ever have gone through. So, algae, as most of us know, is a waterborne uh, plant, and you can find it from the lakes of Minnesota to the Caribbean Sea, but each area has their own special type of algae native to it, whether it be chlorella, spir spirulina, or whatever other type, like kelp, uh, that you can find that in most oceans. but obviously different species. Uh, just as any other plant that is similar in that way, 
But what is interesting about algae is that it can be separated into three main groups, which is green algae, blue-green algae, and red algae, unlike most plants. Most plants are separated into many different groups uh, based off many different characteristics. Algae, in most cases, is a colony uh, of non-mobile cells which sit above water and is uh, basically eaten by all life on the sea in some manner, whether it be through primary or secondary consumption. Um, however, there are mobile algae cells, and uh, these move uh, with what is called a flagella, and most, if they do not have a flagella, they will have cilia, and the cilia are very small, fine hairs that will basically move very fast and it will move it. Um, so, continuing on. There are also other categories of algae, like brown algae and uh, yellow algae, but those are mainly based off of color, and some like brown algae are actually uh, well, as we know them as, like, kelps or seaweed, and these are, in fact, not, you know, plants like we normally would think they are. It's actually grouping together of uh, algae, kind of tightly interwined uh, together, to work together and form a much larger plant. Um, so... Answering the question at the very beginning of this little algae rant. They are more important than all of those other plants because they produce about 80% of our oxygen. And they have for pretty much how long the Earth has been here and been evolving life. Now... Algae does have many other uses as well, uh, one of these being uh, biofuels. Uh, by extracting the lipids in the algae, we can often at times make uh, oils or, you know, just fuels with uh, genetic engineering from them. Um, one main company that does this is Alginol Biotech. Uh, they have been through some rough times uh, in the past, and but uh, things are getting much better for them now. Another very uh, interesting thing about some uh, algaes, like uh, chlorella, one of them that I mentioned earlier, it is very uh, nutrient-rich and has almost every nutrient that the human body needs to live. Um, and this is useful because it's actually very easy to grow, and as it grows, it also purifies water. So you can take very dirty water, and in no time, it will have drained all of the impurities out. And then for further uh, purification, you can just boil it. Uh, that is very good. Um, but what's amazing about this is that it can be grown in greater numbers of dry weight than most plants we grow now, like corn. Uh, one acre of corn will produce about, uh, I believe it's 10 million pounds in dry weight, but uh, if we were to take something like chlorella, it would be about 50 million pounds of dry weight per acre. Um, I just wanted to bring this up before I end the video. Um, I am working on some other little features and uh, more videos, but uh, that'll come later. Uh, so, uh, thank you for tuning in to watch, and uh, 
thank you all for that uh, nice little miles milestone of uh, over a hundred views and that's been in about less than three weeks which is very amazing that uh, we've all accomplished this uh, anyways I want to say thank you for watching and uh, have a good evening